exhausted our low-hanging low fruit supplies. Now we gotta we gotta climb up on the tree. So so if he's here, uh, I can still get out, but I'm gonna have to bridge. And this is more than the sum of its parts. The last two things we did was A plus B plus C, and you get that. There's some there's some art to this, the bridge, and it's gonna take some practice. Some of you'll kind of grasp it, but not everybody's gonna get it in one class. Right? It's there if you find it. So first thing, if I'm getting crushed, what do I do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, I wanna get over here. So I'm getting over here. Now I'm gonna get as much of my body touching Eli as I can. I'm gonna get tight up here, torso, and I'm gonna get all the way to my thigh touching him. The more I have touching, the more power I have to move him with. All right, so once I'm in tight and I have to keep tight, I don't want any space like here exists when I start rolling because he'll just crush me. He'll feel that space and crush me and I'll help him crush me because I'm doing all the work. No space, right? No space. It's very important. The most important part of this, of bridging, no space. Now, uh, I'm gonna bridge him up this way and I don't have to get him off balance like I did before, but even if his foot's up there, doesn't matter. I'm gonna bridge him up. What I'm doing, is I'm breaking his balance from here to here. From here to here when he get his butt up. So that way he rolls right across my shoulders instead of right across my ribs, you know, where all the where the weight will crush me. I'm gonna get him up. So when I roll is he'll come right across my shoulders. Right? If I don't bridge, if I don't bridge and I try to roll, you you will feel the effect of that. So nice and tight. Okay. Now Taking out the slack, and I'm gonna bridge him up here. Right? Come and put your foot up there. Just take I'll bridge him up. Now, once I get him up, his center of gravity, you see where his shoulders are way up here? I'm gonna go up and over this at the shoulder. Like that. Right? So it looks like this. I'm coming here. All right? All this is touching him. And no space. No space where I've got him crushed, right? So. Up. I'm gonna bridge up here. Okay. He's gonna come over here. I'm gonna put him there. That's what you visualize. So if you don't, you try to put him here, he's gonna come right across you. And it's gonna hurt. So, no, don't roll. Try to roll him right across here. No good. Let's get up here. Then up and over. Have to be real tight. You might explain that. So, if I don't have my upper body totally like this on him, he starts to turn, he's gonna get a lot of pressure on his ribs. So, but if there's any space, uh, that's what's gonna happen. Here, it won't. So, when you, go to, when you go to roll, you have to be here, not like this. If you leave this much space, right there, his body's just gonna feel that space and you're going to be crushed by your own strength, right? He's going to stay while you start bridging. Then uh, he's out of balance and, you know, you're compromised and crush your ribs. So real tight like this before you bridge. I don't care if you go here, left side of it. I don't know why. One of those things. Uh, left side of here. And I don't know where I'm going to develop this or whatever. Just one of those things. I'm going to come grab the leg, real tight right here, and pull him in. The long he's tight, right? The long as he's tight against it, doesn't matter. For some reason, I'm going to get to the left side. Oh, no. Pretty tight. So if you get them here, they're gone, right? This takes more practice, so give it a few. Let's do it, guys. One, two, three. Oh, I like that.